Hey everyone, this is Sharp and Mild, and this is my daily update of my Robinhood portfolio. You all know that I uh, always post daily updates of my portfolio. I want to share with you my ups. I want to share with you my downs. I share with you when I'm red. I share with you when I, when I have a green day. I share with you my losses, my moves, my stocks that I buy, my stocks that I sell. As, as you see today, I'm not having a great day, and I'm sure a lot of you is not. But as you see, we're kind of recovering slowly. So remember, uh, our uh, uh, secret weapon is the patience. Patience is what's going to recover us. So I'm holding my grounds. This is the day that I cannot sell or buy anything. I'm not buying, I'm not selling. I'm just staying away from all that mess that we've been hearing about, GameStop and all that. And before I go through this, I want you to hold with me and I want you to watch because you have to listen to every word I'm saying from now on because I'm going to explain to you newbies, you know, because a lot of my uh, followers, they are newbies and uh, they're people who've been investing in, you know, for a week or two or three weeks or a month or three. And I know you are kind of like confused, like GameStop, short squeezing. What is going on? Robin Hood uh, suspending, you know, some accounts, uh, Wall Street bets, you know, hedge fund. What is going on? I, I am so confused. Everybody was talking about GameStop. So why are they talking about it? So I'm going to tell you the story. So before I tell you that, I'm just going to give you like a, a, just a snapshot of my portfolio. As you see, my calls here, especially the Dropbox and Fisker, they hurt because, you know, when you buy a call and you're holding equity, if the stock goes down a little bit, the equity goes down really huge. So this is not worrying me because I still have a lot of time before this uh, call expires, so I'm holding. So uh, you can see, you know, here I'm showing you everything. Some stocks are... Uh, Okay, some stock are up, but I know most of you probably have red screens at this time. It's okay. I'm not going to even talk about it because uh, my secret weapon, remember, it is to hold. So I'm holding today. I'm not selling a single stock, okay? And I don't care how low this portfolio is. I'm looking at this, nothing but red numbers, red rectangles. Okay, it's kind of like cool, you know, to have red and green, huh? So that's what I'm looking at. That's how I'm, I'm, I'm perceiving that. These are red rectangles uh, with a white number that has a negative, you know, minus sign on the left side, that's going to be positive soon. It's going to be positive, okay? And it's going to turn to green. So that's how you look at it, okay? This way, you know, you don't have to stress yourself. Don't keep looking at your phone and thinking that it's going to go back up or whatever, because it will eventually. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe on Monday, okay? And you know what? We might see something worse tomorrow. You just hold. You know why? Because tax does nothing but go up. And I told you that before. Go back and see, go back, you know, three months from now, and you're gonna get mad when you come back and tell me, yeah, sharp and mild, I sold the freaking, uh, 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 you know, uh, black power at one time and it was $12, now it's almost 60. Yes, I sold Neo at $19, and now I'm like biting my nails and I'm just like regretting every moment of it because it's like almost 60 now. So let's wait and be patient. Now, for those uh, followers who follow my channel, and I know. A lot of you are not expert because I know if you have a portfolio over $100,000, $150,000, then you're an expert and you don't need my advice because you already know everything I'm talking about. Maybe you'll be here for the motivation because you know me, I'm a positive guy. I have a you know, positive attitude you know, at, at things. I look at things in a different way. Uh, and you know, I try to encourage everyone and we're all here a family and we encourage each other. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you the story of GameStop. I'm going to explain it in a way that you will understand it. <clears throat> I know you're confused. You probably uh, hear uh, Kramer, you know, on CNN talking about it, and you're like, what the hell is he talking about? I have no clue. Come on, have you been to this? You know, when those financial news, you know, uh, uh, reporters, they start talking about stocks, like, I have no clue what's he talking about. I don't know what's he talking about. I, I cannot understand. Then you turn the channel off and you go somewhere else, right? But I'm going to explain it to you in a way that you will understand everything because I break things, I make it simple, and I talk to you like a friend, right? So I'm talking to you as a friend now, two people sitting in a room, chilling with, a, you know, with some drinks and just you know, talking about stocks. So this is what, what happened. Games, there's these people in New York, okay? Uh, these are the, 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 the uh, Wall Street, uh, the Wall Street or the hedge funds or the, the, the financial institutions. These people are huge. They have tons of money and they have traders and they have financial analysts and they have genius people that work for them. They have people with PhD in econom econ economics. They have people with masters and MBAs and, and all well, finance and accounting and you name it, okay? They are good at what they do and we can't you know, lie about that. I mean, they are good at what they do. Now, these people normally, how do you make money traditional way? 
you buy a stock at $10 and you sell it at 15 a day or two later and you just made $5 on that stock. So the traditional way is for us to hope that the stock is going to go up so we can make money, right? Now, there's some people out there, they make money from the stock going down. So they bet on a stock that will go down. It's kind of gambling. They, they, they place bets on it, okay? Now, those shorts, they call them shorts, okay? These people survive when the stock goes down. We investors, mostly, unless we are buying puts, you know, which I don't want to talk about this, we normally, when we buy calls and we buy stocks, we hope that they're going to go up, right? And that's how we're making our money. Those guys, on the other hand, the shorts, they are hoping the stock is going to go down. So there's this company, it's called GameStop. GameStop is a company that is struggling in terms of business. We all know that. I mean, it's a company, it's outdated. Uh, you know, they sell games and accessories. Honestly, I've never even been, I've never been to a GameStop because when I want something, I will order it online or I will go to, you know, uh, a, you know, maybe a big retailer or I will go digitally and order it, you know, online, you know, and they will send me the digital form of the game, whatever the scenario is, okay? So those guys in, you know, Wall Street, the hedge funds, the rich people, you know, they said, man, this company has no future. And they're stuck today, for, for, for just for example, their stock is $12. This stock is going to tank. This, this company is going bankrupt in probably three years. So this stock is going to continue to go down. So I'm going to place a bet that this stock is going to go down. So they believe, they did their analysis, they did their homework, and they know that the stock is going down. So now they go and short it, meaning they go to a broker, okay? And they say, Mr. Broker, I want to borrow from you 100 shares, just for example, okay? What's the price today? $12? Okay, I'm going to take this 100 shares today. I'm going to sell it at $12. So now what? They just have $120 in their pockets, right? Because they sold it. No, I'm sorry. $1,200, right? <clears throat> and their and no, 100 times 12. Yeah, $1,200. Yeah. So now they have, they bought $100. I mean, 100 stocks at $12, right? And they say, and they sell it at $12. And they Tell them, give me two weeks, man. I'm going to give you this money back. And they obviously, they pay in fees or whatever the thing. I don't want to go into that, okay? So that's how they're making their money. They took those stocks. They sold them at 12. Now they know the stock is dropping, right? Because they did their homework. They go and buy it back in a week at $8. And then when they give it back to the original borrower, who, you know, the broker that they borrowed the stocks from, they just made $4 profit, right? So that's how they are shorting the stock. That's called shorting. Not short in terms of time, value. It is short in terms of dollar, okay, amount. So they told the broker, Mr. Broker, I want to borrow 100 shares at $12, and I'm going to sell it today. And then in a week, I'm going to go back when this price drops, and I'm going to buy this 100 shares. I'm going to give back the 100 shares to you, and they just made $4 profit. Simple, right, guys? No confusion. That's what shorting is. I just explained it to you. Now, what is a short squeeze? Now, what happened is... There is a group of people on Reddit and on social media, people like you and me, we are called retail investors. We knew that that company, uh, I think their name is uh, Melvin Capital and Citron, I believe, yeah. Uh, these are the two hedge funds or the financial institution that shorted the stock. So they went and they bought millions, billions of, they bought billions of dollars, guys. And they said, once we sell, we, we sell, they sold those stocks and then they said, you know, in a week or two, we're going to go back, we're going to buy it at a lower price and we're going to make billions of dollar profits, right? We, <laughs> at the Reddit, especially the Reddit people, although I'm not in Reddit, but what they said, <clears throat> you know what? You want to play a game? Let's play a game. You think that company is uh, going down? No, it's not. Then they start putting PR and, you know, like, you know, uh, throwing reports, you know, good reports. No, this is a good company. It has potential. Uh, no, don't f listen, guys, buy, buy. Then they start, uh, you know, spreading good rumors about the stock. And people like you and me heard the news. Some of you didn't even know what the hell is going on. All we heard is like GameStop, GameStop. Every time you go, you go to Facebook, you go to TikTok, you go to, uh, you know, uh, Snapchat. Uh, doesn't matter where you go, Instagram. So, you know, here, Robin Hood, yeah, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. And then you, me, Sarah, Susie, Justin, uh, David, we all started buying the stock. What happened? The stock price started going up, right? Now, remember, 
those guys, they are hoping the stock is going to go down. They have to short it. it. I mean, it has to go down or they're going to lose money because they already sold at 12. And they have to buy it back at a lower price to make profit. Because if it goes past $12, they're going to have to buy it at $14 in two weeks because they are committed, right? And then they're going to lose $2. And now instead of making the $400 example, they're going to lose money if it goes back up to 14 because now they have to buy it at $14 when they bought it, when they sold at 12, right? To give it back to them. So they're going to lose money. So the, st the stock start going up. And then the first time it went up, more people like you and me, people on Robinhood. Oh my God, guys, have you seen, man, if you want to make money, go buy GameStop. It's going up. Then I like, I go and look at my friend. He calls me, man, I just paid $300 on GameStop. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, it's going up. Okay, let me go and buy it. Then I grab a share here, a share there, you know, and people start buying. But there's million, 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 hundreds of millions of us. And then we became a huge force that impacted that stock. And again, it's supply and demand, right? When more people buy something, the price, what, goes up, right? So more of us start buying and buying and buying. And then those people don't have time to, you know, uh, 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 the, the, those big hedge funds, they have to buy the stock back so they can sell it. So they're like, oh my God, this misery, what do I do? And they look at their thing, they're like, okay, it's already at $14, let me just exit my position. Let me just go and buy it, God darn it, and I'll just take the loss of $2. So they go and they buy the stock as well. And now it's you, me, and them buying the same stock. And now the price of stock goes back up again. Then the next guy who's shorting the stock goes, oh my God, it is at $16, what do I do? I mean, okay, let me swallow 40% loss. And they, they go and <laughs> buy it as well. And now there's more seller, more, more buyers, right? The stock goes up again. And then uh, when the stock keeps going up, more sellers like me and you, the word is out there and everybody's talking about it in the news. Everybody go buy it, go buy it, go buy it. And we all are buying that stock and this guy goes to freaking $400. Okay, so what happened to those guys who shorted the stock in the first place, those hedge funds? They're burnt because they have, they have commitment. They have to buy that stock. It doesn't matter what price it is. They are committed to that broker. They have to give them the stocks back. So they go and they sold it at 12 and now they have to buy it back at 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. So those guys lost billions. I mean, I mean that company, Citron and the other one, uh, 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 the, the Melvin Capital, they almost lost $5 billion in like a matter of three, four days. And guess who won that money? Us. Now, if you got into it, good job for you. Now, here's the deal. Now, because nobody is buying it, what's going to happen? Now, everybody's selling. The price is going to go down. So those who bought the stock at like 350, 400, they probably burned. So some of us made money, but some of us also, other than the financial institution, some of us retailers also are losing money. So Robin had said, you know what? I need to protect you guys. I cannot keep looking at this bloodshed. Let me suspend the stock. Nobody can buy it. You can only sell it. I'm sorry. So that's why you see the market. Everybody is panicking now. Nobody is, wants to buy. So that's why the market is going down. But it's okay because now it's a panic. Okay. Nobody wants to buy stock. So when there's no demand, the price starts going down, right? So let's wait. So if you have a stock, you wait. Why? Because in a day or two, Huh? People who saw, saw the stocks going down, they're going to start grabbing them again. Like, oh my God, look at this uh, Jumia. I dropped, you know, you know, $2 today. Let me go and grab it. Somebody says, oh, look at the other stock, you know, uh, Clean Spark. Let me go and buy it. It's down today or whatever, you know. So now, because we waited and we were patient, we're going to get paid later because the stock is going to go back up. So that's why it's important to hold. I hope I was able to explain this in a way we are, where I was able to connect with you. I know it's really hard to understand sometimes what shorting is and what short squeezing. So, so, so basically, those guys, the head fund, got squeezed. You know why? They got squeezed because everybody is selling. They're squeezed. Oh my God, what do I do? Let me go and sell some uh, buy some stocks because I have to give it back to that guy, to the broker. So they got squeezed. That's what short squeeze means. Okay? So... This is like in a simple way, and I know if somebody is probably expert, he's going to be like, ah, oh, whatever, man, this is easy, 101. I understand, but this is meant only for my followers who just started. So this is the, the story of Game uh, Stop. I hope you understood that. And this has been happening for years, guys. This is not the first time, by the way. But this time, those guys, uh, the people like me and you, said no to the head fund. I said, screw you. You're going to short it, we're going to buy it, and we're going to bring the price up and screw you. And guess what? A lot of money make, people made millions of dollars.
That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys uh, all enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the uh, video, and I hope uh, the market recovers and you all come back victorious. I uh, love you guys all, and see you again in another video. Bye-bye.